did you, last episode was very gratifying because it began with us recovering from us not getting the password last time and ended with us getting a password immediately. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> we've been vindicated. Oh shit. My, oh no, my controller turned off and now it's like not turning back on correctly. All right, I know how to fix this. Got to unplug the wireless thing and plug it back in. This is um, great content. Yeah. Anyway, back to our amazing adventures. So that time we didn't even have to think. We got the password immediately. We're in. We got this game figured out now. It's not. It'll never defeat <laughs> us ever again. Or I'll edit it out out of shame. <laughs> Something was bothering me to the point that I zoned out long enough to for Tyson to lob a fry at my face and catch my attention. He read. He ready to throw another at me just in case I hadn't given him some attention. Before he quirked his brow, he'd picked up on what was wrong, and there was no point hiding any longer. Hey, uh, guys? Has anyone seen Benson lately? Like, in the last five days of the seven day trip? <laughs> Sorry, can't say I have. Why? Anyone else? Around the table, I looked. Everyone shaking their head in turn. I gulped, thinking back to what I'd seen in the vault. If no one had seen Benson, that meant he was still alive, right? What, that's all that's bothering you? Because I call bullshit. That's the reason you decided to throw food around? Maybe you're just tired, Dave. We did have a pretty full day today. This is a weird response to. I am tired, Roswell. <laughs> I'm tired of your shit. <laughs> tired of something here. This feels like a strange response to someone being like, "Has anyone seen that person around for? Hasn't been seen around for days? Remember the person you haven't seen? That's weird, right? Maybe you're just tired, but you haven't seen him, right? You you haven't seen him, <laughs> right? Like <laughs> Roswell. No, not that. I just I opened the vault and. The words were out of my mouth before I, before I realized it. Reflexively, I clamped my muzzle shut with both hands, looking down at the table. You open the vault. I felt my ears droop as I nodded slowly, keeping my eyes trained on a crumb that I had noticed that had fallen off my plate. It's the same as last night, isn't it? What happened last night? Nothing. Uh, nothing happened. Uh, except a bunch of, a bunch of horny dudes. <laughs> Just a uh, bunch of dudes right. being dudes, talking about the rain and stuff. <laughs> I had a, a restless night. But uh, about opening the vault. You know what's on the other side now? Oh, uh, no, it's more, uh... It gave me a warning Benson would die? Here's the thing that throws me off, is that people say... I think people have responded to the previous thing saying that, like, Oh, no, he doesn't actually open the vault, because it doesn't actually open when you open the do the password. It just gives you a vision. Which, sure... But I thought the, the first time he put in the password... The description technically says... I think. I think it technically does not ever say that the vault was opened. I think. I but thought the being, first time we did it, referred to it, it as did. The being opened. I don't know. Yeah, like, I thought the first time it opened, he stepped inside and it was just dark and that's where he got the vision. Maybe, Maybe I'm I wrong. I think he, he might just... But, I, that, that's, that was my immediate reaction to the thing. But then yeah. everyone says that that's not what happened. So maybe, maybe he did just do what happened a moment ago where he typed a password and then just had a vision. And it's just, yeah. you know, you intuitively think he must have gone on the vault because that's what the password's for. But then yeah. it's just not what happens. But what further confuses me is that he keeps saying he opened the vault, even though it didn't open. So like, yeah. it's just very confusing language where it keeps being referred to as being opened when it wasn't opened and he didn't go in it. But intuitively, the fact that it is a password to the vault and you enter it at the vault makes you think you must have gone on the vault and maybe it gives you visions. But then 
you don't go in the vault, you just get a vision, but then he says he opened the vault. Like, it's just, it's it's very contradictory language that keeps contradicting itself, not just once, but over and over again. Like, it's continually contradictory. Yeah. So it just kind of needs, I feel like it just needs to be revised across the board, because it's confusing what we're supposed to even think the vault is. And not in the way yeah. that it's a mystery vault, but that we did, like, what we're doing is confusing in the, in the beyond the parts that are meant to be confusing to the character. Yeah. Another stretch of silence soon followed, and I placated myself by eating some fried chicken. But even then, I still had the attention of everyone <laughs> forgot, at the table. This was, forgot there was fried chicken Fried here. chicken day. <laughs> <laughs> Round here, it's always fried chicken day. It'll, it's been fried chicken day for the last six episodes. It's going to be fried chicken day for the next six episodes. Welcome to the fried chicken conundrum. <laughs> so, now what? We're going to do anything about Benson? Why? You don't believe him? To be honest, if I, uh, didn't know better, I'd probably still be a little skeptical. It's just a little, I don't know, hard to take in, right? Well, I believe him, because I got the thing to work too. Fuck off, what did you see then? Dave. Dead. Oh. Well. What? Orlando got saw us die in the vault. <laughs> well, when did he get a password? Uh, at some Why point, he got passwords. <laughs> I mean, we just it just happens to us, so it makes sense that he could just it could just happen to him. But yeah, it's probably caused in the Benson timeline of us trying to save Benson leads to an ending where we die, and then Orlando lives on. But he then resonates and then realizes what the password is and now he's also looped so this is like some we are now the full metal bitch in uh yeah in lived i repeat <laughs> or not the uh, whatever the original one's called uh nothing all you need is kill all, all you need is kill yeah. yeah so so we're we're the lady and all you need is kill where we've realized that tom cruise has now looped after us and is the new looper orlando's the second looper <laughs> <laughs> If you if, if you don't know the way too many different titles for the same story, this was once called uh, this the movie adaptation of this was once called uh, The Edge of Tomorrow, which yes is a pretty good title. I, I really enjoy the title Edge of Tomorrow. That's that's a good title that for still, that story. That is still officially the title of that movie. It's yeah. just the the there is a te there's text on the the DVD box called Live Die Repeat. Yeah. That is bigger than the actual title, so it people was think that it's called Live, Die, Repeat. Yeah, or more accurately, as somebody who's never seen the cover of it, it's just that it was reported as being renamed Live, Die, Repeat. So, yes. you know, when people report on something, you usually think that that must be, like, some kind of truth and not just people making shit up. <laughs> but mm -hmm. who knows anymore? For all I know, they never renamed the Ghostbusters remake either. <laughs> Yeah, this is a this is a good movie. This is a, that's a good movie, and it's a weird story. I think the movie it is a better version on. of the story than the story, but the the ending lost me. But it's a yeah. it's, it's pretty good up until then. But I feel like the ending broke its own rules at the last second to be irritating, to like be like ah, it's like it's got a little bit of a a little bit of a I am legend feeling ending where it's too nice and feels like it had to break its own time travel rules to get there. And I'm like that's annoying okay yeah i've always liked the japanese title more all you need is kill all you need is kill <laughs> is a wild title ending. i fucking love it it's so good <laughs> i'm also just amused because i've been writing about death note a bit lately and that's the same uh the the anime adaptation the manga adaptation of the book is from the artist that does death note yeah which is how i experienced it i have not read the light novel or whatever dave dead so, uh, I believe him, if only because I don't want I don't want what I saw to become the truth. I'm not going to risk something like that. Not worth it. No shit. I'd be in the same boat if I saw that. Well, this is escalating. I enjoy this escalation. I like the idea that we were seen dead in a vision and that other people are interacting with the vault now. That's that's a good yeah. narrative es escalation. It's a little VLR. All right. If something like that happened, why didn't you tell anyone sooner? Like, right after you saw it? 
hey, I... It was hard to process. Yeah, fair enough, I suppose. Are you... Alright. Sort of? I'm just... Worried. I just... I just don't know, uh... I still find it a little hard to believe, but... What do we do now? Well, I think we need to find a gun. A gun? How'd you... I think that's what killed him. Wait. But we know a gun didn't kill him. <laughs> that was the whole premise, wasn't it? That the uh, murder... The yes, no. Because in the rules we've established so far, I don't think Dave knows much about the other timeline. It's not VLR mm -hmm. where he literally just inherits his own memories and knows all the details about the crime scene. He just saw gotcha. a weird vision of Benson dead again. But this time with the added feeling of thinking it's foul play or something. Like I think his, his, gotcha. his memory is slightly different of it. So he, yeah. he, okay. So the first time it's just Benson dead, what does that mean? And this time it's Benson died of foul play is the slightly advanced version he's now gotten. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all well and good, but we have a problem. What's that? Being completely rational about this, Benson was to be killed. It'd have to be one of us, right? Why do you think that? There could be any number. Uh, Roswell, no one is ready I know for that the they don't know this. To be here. <laughs> I'm just saying, I know they don't know this detail, but like, Roswell went back and was shot dead on the property. So. Is it really us? I guess technically, what wasn't it Orlando disappeared and didn't wasn't talking to Dave? So maybe it's Orlando that did it, but... Maybe, with this dragon mafia. Yeah, with the dragon mafia. Uh, but <laughs> all I'm saying is, like, I think that kind of just communicated to us that, like, this could very well just be other people. Yeah, if, uh... It is kind of a point towards uh, Orlando's, uh, towards Roswell's innocence is the fact that he did specifically go back and investigate the murder alone and then died. Because mm -hmm. there's like, there's no reason to be performative of that at some point if no one's even going with you and then dying means like, okay, then it might, it might have, might have been or, sincere. Or he fictionalized his death as a get out of jail free card. Maybe, yeah. And now, now he has robot arms he never noticed. Like, that's <laughs> that's what I'm saying. He's like, in the other you know, timeline, he be... died mysteriously without much detail, which made it feel like he like either he was murdered by the people who murdered Orlando, or he or as we were theorizing, like because we think he's the villain, we were like, oh, he died of a mysterious illness that was supposed to be cured by us doing the death game or something. Yeah. Uh, but he, him dying like that him dying made us more suspicious that time but this time his death is just was just strange if he was any of those things so yeah and he recruited nobody else uh, there was silence after Haas made the call looks being exchanged around the table with visible unease and if that's true now we've given the culprit a chance to stash the murder weapon right all the cops yeah Leave. <laughs> you, you have, you have adva you, the, 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 the potential issue with the vault is that it gives you advance warning that someone's going to die when you, you there's nothing keeping people in this mansion. <laughs> well, the yeah. Well, the craziest thing about this is that the first time we got the bad end, it was because only we left. Now that yeah. we have literally communicated to everyone that someone's going to die and they all seemingly sort of believe us, we can all just leave. We, we can all just bail. Yeah. Everyone's in this room right now. <laughs> like, let's just go. <laughs> Not necessarily. If it was one of us, their intent is now known to the rest of the group. I imagine it'd be difficult to follow through on a murder now that everyone will be watching everyone else. Especially if you stay together and not the buddy system, because you don't want to be some leaving somebody alone with the murderer. What? You think they're going to do it while we're awake? Is this a wise idea? To be discussing this as if one of us intended to murder someone else? Well, no harm in looking for the gun at least. Worst case scenario, we find a gun. But 
If this will put Dave's mind at ease, then where's the danger? Besides the gun, of course. Uh, does that work for everyone? There were murmurs of agreement around the table, although the mood was still very uncertain as a whole. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Don't worry about it, Dave. Between you and me, if this saves someone's life somehow, then it's worth it, right? And hey, we're doing a scavenger hunt anyway. This is just another thing to add to the list, right? Well, uh, this is the first time someone's mentioned the scavenger hunt in like three days. Well, uh, I guess this one might have a time limit on it, but still. The rest of the dinner lacked the spark that we started off on, the most of us eating in silence. I felt terrible, as if I'd thrown a wet blanket over the vacation by bringing up death. Part of me wondered if it was better to have just stayed quiet about it all. Each of my friends around the table seemed troubled now, their smiles weakened, only half yeah. there as if for my sake. I. Dave, they're going to be troubled because you just told them they were going to get killed. Yeah. <laughs> like you're not being a wet blanket, you're protecting your friends, you dingus! For me, it's just like, if Dave didn't believe in the vault, I'd get this more, but this is the second vault time in this timeline. And then there's a third mm -hmm. one in the case of, of Orlando, apparently. There's a lot of reason to believe in the vault at this point. Like, we, uh, we technically didn't experience Sal dying in the freezer, but the... Re our reaction to that vision led directly to discovering Sal being a weird mind-controlled zombie person Which was weird and enough reason to be concerned at least and this is like escalating. I don't know. Yeah I needed a hug Someone to tell me that it was going to be okay But I was too afraid to ask for it because I'm a little baby and I need blood to <laughs> cry for help When we'd all been fed everyone split off into pairs. No No no? No, 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 you just talk- We just established that one of us is the murderer. That means the only valid splitting up is three and four. Because you cannot make a group of two. Because that person could be alone with the murderer, and then they get murdered. No, three is- three is really bad, because if one per- if one person dies, then two people come back and say, Hey, this one's the murderer. No, that one's the murderer. Yeah. So three and two is really bad. Not great either, should, They should literally all just never just leave Everyone hold each hands other. the entire time. Yeah. Go room to room. Mm -hmm. I, I am just, I'm, I am confused why they're treating this like it's a locked room mystery when it is explicitly not a locked room mystery. Yeah. I think it's they, because. They're like, it's gotta be one of us. And it's like, bro, does it though? <laughs> like, does it need to be one of you? Just the little, the clue style, like genre trappings of just like. That's, it's, yeah, you, uh, you kind of inherently see the setup for the narrative and then just kind of, like, follow the grooves of the trope, but, yeah, the fact that there's no guarantee that people can't come in and out, and also the, the, also the fact that there's nothing stopping us from leaving now really muddy the waters a bit, because, yeah, there's no, if, if somebody got murdered, if me and my friend group were on, were, were on a vacation and then somebody got murdered, or we thought someone was going to get murdered, I would think it was like a Jeepers Creepers situation, like there's like a monster or a thing or a person, like something has come yeah. to threaten us, is the default reaction to that. It's not, it must have been one of us, because we're currently in a moon base and no one can find yeah. us here. <laughs> like, exactly. Especially because it wasn't one of us that was murdered. It was Benson, who is yeah. a random third party. That most of us don't and even know. On top of this, Dave knows that there are other people here. Yeah. Oz is here. We're, so, I, like, we're isolated, but we're, not, we're isolated in a call an Uber kind of way. <laughs> not yeah. We're isolated the same way you are when you're riding. We're, we're when in you a lose track of your ride so, at a bar. <laughs> yeah, we're in a slightly inconvenient Airbnb. Like it's not. We're not even out of civilization. It seems it's just we have cell phone. We have reception. to call a cab to go somewhere. <laughs> Dean the, did the dividing, saying that it was best if I stayed in the foyer as a point of contact for them to report back to in case something was found, or if Benson showed up. Oh! Three teams hmm. of two, and then we just stay here alone. <laughs> right after we established <laughs> we that we die. We saw a murder. Yeah, this is Specifically silly. that we die. Like, according to Orlando, we're going to die. And we, he left us alone. Where's that protective instinct now, Dean? 
<laughs> I, oh no. Yeah. I just don't understand why these characters are doing these things. I don't, it doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> to be honest, that suited me fine. At least, that's what I told him. Sitting in the large entryway to the mansion gave me some time to think. Although it was lonely. I wondered what the chances of this happening was, like, really. Did mansions just scream murder mystery? Maybe they would have gone to the beach and rented it. Maybe we should have gone to a, a beach and rented a beach house instead, where nobody has ever died. Like Disneyland. I sat on the stairs, looking around, waiting, listening to the ambient noises that echoed from the other rooms. My friends were around, searching for this gun that I thought I saw, talking to one another. Snippets of the conversations I could catch, but nothing tangible as full sentences. My name was being brought up. Occasionally there'd be a laugh, or maybe some call to be quieter. I buried my face in my hands, trying to find something to comfort myself while I waited. The smell of freshly roasted coffee. The warmth of morning sun. The softness of my pillow back home. All these things were nice, but not doing the trick. I needed something more. Someone more. I breathed in through my nose and back out, trying to stay calm. Was it better or worse if a gun was found? On one hand, if we didn't find one, I could chalk it up to imagination and pretend that whatever I saw was just a bad thought. I could then just never go into that room again, pretend that I never messed with it. I, I, I guess they could see this as denial, but like, his experience was already corroborated this corroborated this time by Orlando, so that it, it'd be a hell of a thing for you both to have a weird keypad hallucination in the same room, in the same way, and then both have visions of somebody dying, and think, huh, they told me the joke, give me the jitters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> On the other hand, if we did find it, what would we do with it? Should we keep it? Try and destroy it? Hide it somewhere else? Yeah, just like lock it somewhere. Eat call the police and be like, hey, there's a gun, take it away. <laughs> uh, any, any, any solution that can get rid of a gun. Uh, have Sal bend it in half with his big muscles. Uh, also, if you don't find the gun, that doesn't mean that there wasn't a gun. It just means you didn't find a gun in a giant mansion. That's extremely alarming because it doesn't resolve yeah. any, either of the possibilities. <laughs> it's the worst case scenario. Completely. <laughs> I opened my eyes when I felt a hand on my shoulder. I must have been half asleep while I was thinking, the light in the foyer building, uh, blinding me once I'd removed my hands from my face. Hey, you doing okay? I'm the only person who's changed my clothes in a week. Musky, musky mansion. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm fine. Liar. Be nice, but... You're right, he's lying. Ty, come on, lay off. Or lay on me, because I need to be hugged for Ooh, going by my entire monologue. Not gonna lay off when you're upset. Well, find the gun, or we'll bunk up for safety if you want. That does not save Benson. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. What about me? I'm happy to keep you company if you want. Thanks for the offer, but no. Well, no gun so far. You can keep looking, but your chances are slim that we just run into it, right? Right. Never know, though. Guys? Uh... Sorry. For what? Just... This whole mess with the gun, I shouldn't have brought it up. But it's bothering you. Why wouldn't you tell us when something's wrong? I don't want to be a burden over something that's so silly, like, Oh hey, Dave imagined a dead guy, now we have to go make sure no one dies. Just... I feel bad that you guys are doing this for me. Tyson wandered closer, putting a hand on my head and tussling my fur. <clears throat> You're a dork. You're not making me do anything. Tyson just means that he cares about you. I feel the same way. Friends look out for one another. Didn't have to say it like that, but yeah, what he said. 
You're gonna be alright if we keep looking? I nodded slowly to Ty, and he gave me another look before gesturing for Haas to follow. As they walked away, Ty was muttering some something to Haas. I couldn't make out what it was, but he looked back at me all the same with a careful look after Haas seemed to be informed about something. I returned the look, uncertain, but he nodded to me as he just disappeared into another room to keep searching. Minutes ticked by as I was left to, to my thoughts again. I had that meeting with Oz tonight at 11pm. Was it worth going still? Did he already know that Benson was... well... that I'd seen him in the vault? What would he say to that? What would Benson even say? I mean... you should tell them <laughs> that he's going to die? That would be good. We know the meeting doesn't happen, at least last time, so... He didn't get a chance, but he shouldn't be preemptively not- He should be preemptively- he should, definitely should be thinking about sailing him. You don't look very comfortable. I'm fine. You don't sound fine. I'm Yeah, maybe because you're around. Fine? <laughs> Part of me wondered if it was just one of those things that I could- I could convince myself of if I said it enough times. That magically I could trick myself into being more okay than I was at present. No gun so far. Sadly, although you've got to wonder why you'd pick a gun. Huh? What do you mean? Well, despite the house being quite big, sound will echo, right? It'd be quick, but messy and really risky to kill someone with a gun in here. I've thought about it several times. In an odd way, that made me feel a bit better. The chances of someone being able to pull off something like that and not get caught were seeming a lot slimmer now. There's also motive. Why would anyone target Benson, of all people? Any ideas? You know more than anyone else here, unless they're the killer. <laughs> the pair of them took shook heads. Unless he was up to no good, and someone found out. And maybe they would. It would be very drastic to do instead of just contacting the police first. I think it, it, it more drastic to do that then too. Yeah. That's a good point. Still, if there's a gun around, we should probably keep looking, right? I think Ty and Haas went over there, so that's covered. Has anyone checked outside? If not, we should check those areas next. Seems like a good idea. At least then we can cross it off the list of places it could be hiding. This is pretty hopeless because there's so many hiding places like under a plant in the greenhouse. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is a huge well, in area. In that case, Dave is just going to walk over it and unearth it. <laughs> just like the <laughs> hidden <Whoops>. lost medallions. <laughs> Notices your medallion there. They were gone soon after, disappearing out the back door. No sooner they had slipped outside, I heard the rapid footfalls of someone approaching from upstairs, descending them towards me. Before I had the chance to react, Dean had half slid down the last few stairs and wrapped his arms around me suddenly, hugging me tight. I am so sorry. I, I didn't know. He rubbed my back. That's not the voice. I am so sorry. I didn't know. <clears throat> he rubbed my back, and I looked over to see Orlando hurrying along after him. Sorry, I... Uh, uh, this is my fault. What happened? Dean was asking why he seemed so down, and I... It may have slipped about what happened. <clears throat> what? Oh. Oh, right. Oh, the dad. He's down because his dad died a year ago? That's what they're at? That's what he thinks he's down about? Is that what Dave's down about? I don't do, know. Was it do suicide? People, do people I'm not confused. Do people not know that Dave's dad died? I'm or surprised Dean wouldn't know. Dean is a creepy stalker who knows everything about Dave. <laughs> or is he losing it? Is that supposed to be why he's losing his mind about Benson's body? Is because Benson killed because uh, Dave's dad killed himself with a gun? Possibly. I didn't know your dad was... God, and to think I'd that I'd... 
Dean left, let its thoughts there, uh, giving me another squeeze. It's fine. I would cited it so often in such a short period of time, I wasn't sure if there was... if it was working as a mantra or if it was just becoming a flinch response. It, Dave, y you shouldn't suppress it so much. What's... what's he suppressing? The pistol? <laughs> Just about what happened, it... I'll be there for you in any way I can, Dave. Say the word and I'll be there. You need to talk? Just say so. I can even call up my mom if you want to talk to her about it. Uh... I was thrown for a loop on the offer. Not that it wasn't appreciated, but I... It was still a bit much. Even the topic of talking to his mom was not one. I think I'd only met her once before, and she seemed nice. She wasn't my own mom, though, but... How's... How's the search going? Dean backed off, scratching the back of his head. Well, so far we've come up empty. Everywhere we've looked, it's just been... Just another room, right? He's right. Uh, nothing so far. Either someone's hiding it well, or just... Well... Where'd you start looking for a gun, anyway? There's no armory. There's a museum with a lot of not-gun weapons on display, but... He trailed off, shrugging. All I could do was shrug back. If I knew where the gun was, I'd have gone to get it myself. I, I wondered if Oz knew about the gun, and where it might be. Honestly, everyone should just be walking around yelling, Benson! Yeah, for where real. Where the fuck are you? It's been five days. Orlando dragged Dean away so they could continue searching, and I was once again left to my thoughts. It was less sitting on the stairs now as opposed to just being sprawled out on them. It wasn't comfortable, but it was less effort than trying to stay upright. I closed my eyes and just let my mind wander. If we left now, we could all be safe. I don't know, I feel like if, if, if this is tied to his dad in some way, I feel like he should have had, like... Some kind of, like, panic response that had, like, a description of, like, something he's reacting to for a reason. Like, it, the, like a memory coming back. Like, something more than just, like, him falling by some blood and freaking out, but in vague terms. And then he doesn't think about it in any specific terms. And doesn't think about his dad for even a moment or so on. Like, even one, even one line nested there that, that it's like his dad without without extrapolating in explicit detail what he means by that would give us something about what his response was there and also potentially connect why Orlando and Dean are talking about that because what stands out to me is Dave does not contradict the idea that this is tied to his dad but that's the first we're hearing of it and we encountered Benson's death like three hours ago at this point <laughs> And this is the first time we're hearing the idea that Dave connects it with his dad in some way. But if what Oz said was true, one of my friends was going to die. For the briefest of moments, I wondered who it could be. I felt guilty, I asked myself, who I was willing to let die to save everyone else. Call an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you're thinking in terms of, like, someone's going to die tonight in my friend group, Leave! <laughs> you can leave! It's wild that the leave ending is not everyone leaving, but now the stakes yeah. are that someone will die and it's out in the air, so now all the more reason for everyone to leave and not for Dave to leave quietly alone for no reason. Was that a normal thing to consider in these sorts of situations? Not that the situation was normal by any means, but... Uh, no, Dave, that's not normal. No, nothing about the scenario has called for the idea that you'd have to sacrifice one to save the many. That is not in the cards that is not that has not been <laughs> that's not what the scenario is you could literally leave <laughs> it's fine i sighed out sitting back and scratching my head i was stuck here now come hell or high water but you're not if i left i'd be condemning one of my friends to die somehow at some point and it'd be my fault mm. i'm not sure if oz fully sold me on the idea that one of us is fated to die no matter what if we leave. 
I think it's Roswell. I think he's just going to die mysteriously after we leave of some Every sort time. of illness or getting shot or something. Like, that's what it feels like. Yeah. You can, you can have him. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> yeah. Just take him. It's okay. One, in this case, we can sacrifice one for the many. <laughs> Sometime later, we filed back. I mean, if you're going to ask me which friend I would sacrifice to save the many, yes, the answer is Roswell. <laughs> Easy. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Sometime later, we, we filed back into the dining room and to talk about what the, uh, how the search went. So, no one found a gun. The group collectively shook their heads, although some seemed relieved to have not found anything. That's not necessarily a bad thing. If there's no gun found, then there's every chance that it never existed. Gotcha. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of baffled by, by what he was saying for a second. I was like, how yeah. does that correlate at all? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not finding something does not mean it doesn't exist, especially when in a place that's hard to search. The idea, didn't, the idea didn't sit quite right with me, but I nodded along, accepting it as truth for now. Dave, what do you want to do now? Do you feel better? To be honest, I doubt it. He hasn't smiled since it came up at dinner. Since since what came up? Since, since he, he brought it up himself, I guess, is what he means? Yeah. Like, I mean, I think they're talking, obviously, about, like, his dad and stuff, but, like, or, or I guess just the murder itself. I don't know. But, the like, dad hasn't come up, really. It's just... It got never, brought up independently at some point by day, by yeah. by Dean and Orlando out of nowhere. But that was also when people were saying he doesn't seem like he's doing well. So yeah. I guess this implies time has passed. But what I'm saying is, like, Dave, well, no, think, Dave has think, not I, been in a good mood since the beginning of the day. Yeah. You can't be like, he's been really upset ever since that thing came up. What it's like... Yeah, no shit. It's just when <laughs> I guess it's just when you noticed he was in a bad mood because yeah, it's been a yeah, looming exactly. thing the whole time. I gave got I did I gave Haas a look. I wasn't even sure what sort of look it was, but I felt tired, drained. For the most part, I was just so uncertain of what to do here. The last time the vault showed me something, it almost seemed easy to stop the thing from happening, almost like an accident. Sure, it wasn't, but. At least it felt natural. This, though, was just searching for a gun enough to make sure it, it didn't happen. I know you rejected the offer before, but hear me out. Safety numbers, right? What if just for tonight, we all bunk up? The number is 69. <laughs> it, took you, it took you this long to come to the conclusion that we came to literally the moment we said safety in numbers. <laughs> well, he offered staying in the same room together earlier. It's just Dean said no. Dave said no. Yeah. It's just it's just silly that that the the character's like, what about this? What if we stay together? And it's like yeah. you tried that before and you immediately split up. <laughs> you well, talking yeah, about? but he's talked. He, but he talked. To, he already brought up the idea of of sleeping in the same space. Yeah. It's just that Dave denied it, and he's trying to re he's trying to reintroduce that. Like, no, pl let's do that. <laughs> yeah, I just don't understand why Dave is so hesitant about that. Like, why? <laughs> it's like I hate things that could potentially solve my problem. Uh, except it doesn't save it doesn't save Benson at all though is the problem, but uh yeah all seven of us get in one room lock the door, and uh, we all die in a fire I guess fire hazard <laughs> here we go. <laughs> oh, it'd be like a sleepover. That's awesome. Isn't that a little overkill though? All seven of us in one room. We could use the games room maybe, but that doesn't seem all that comfortable. Uh, maybe if we split it into two groups, the games room that was really comfortable, that's full of like couches is, and pillows and, of, and yeah, fancy didn't they stuff. All watch, yeah, they all watched movies in there, right? It's like this should weren't be good. they on be bean bags? Was that is that something I'm I making think it was, up? Yeah, I, think I think they have bean bag chairs or something. Like they should be good in the in the games room. <laughs> I don't care. What do don't you be. Mean it's not comfortable. Don't be whiny about comfort. We're trying to stop a murder. <laughs> If everybody goes in that room and then nobody leaves that and Benson dies anyway, then that's new data, at least. Yeah. <laughs> but we're trying to stop the death from happening, but also Dave dying is in the cards. We're not really stressing that enough. 
I'd had my eyes to the ground for a while now, mulling it over. That'd still work, right? Just like this morning, groups of three means that there's at least a witness in every group. It could work, if only for tonight, right? Dave. I almost jumped hearing my name, looking at Tyson who'd planned, planted himself in front of me, arms across his chest. Would that help? I think so. All right, well. How about we just use the same groups as this morning? Keep things nice and simple. Evenly split and... Oh, wait, uh... Even enough, I guess? Works for me. Is Tyson joining a group, or is he going off alone like before? Because... What? <laughs> Once again, everyone was looking at me. Maybe with some sleep, I'd feel better. Maybe if... When the morning came and nothing happened, I could just put it all behind me. Maybe it was the fatigue catching up with me, but I yawned, almost wanting to fall asleep right there. But no, I still had this meeting to go to. Oz was, at least as far as I know, a lifeline to stop my friends dying. I was guided into Sal's room. Apparently in my days, it was decided to be the least messy of the immediate options, and I was corralled into being in a group with Sal, Dean, and Tyson. Okay, so that's where Tyson is. Not that I minded. Dean left the room briefly to go to some more, go get some more pillows and blankets, leaving us to ourselves until we got back. Everyone's taking off their shirts. Are you comfortable, Dave? Is this helping? It's just Tyson and Sal yeah. not wearing shirts. Do you? Is this better now? Is <laughs> we're your therapy boyfriends. I looked to Ty, who was scratching himself, half listening. Then I looked back to Sal, who seemed genuinely concerned, watching me carefully. I... think so? Maybe you should take more clothes off. You can lay off him, you know. He'll be alright. Won't you, pup? I get the impression the attention has been bothering you since you spoke at dinner. It's... Not that. Well, okay, it is that, but... I sighed out as Dean entered the room, drawing all our attention while he lay out the pillows and blankets before joining us on the floor. <laughs> He's just fully out. <laughs> like, not even bothering with any kind of, uh, of pants at this point. <laughs> it's escalation. <sighs> what did I miss? You were meant to keep your pants on, apparently. Oh, but... I sleep like this. And sometimes I go commando, but I'm not shameless. Nave, you were saying something. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I, I guess the main thing is that's upsetting me on this... Is the vacation itself. What... What's wrong with it? Well, in this room alone, all three of you have started fights. Hey now, I, I haven't been in any fights. Oh, real smooth on asking about Orlando's junk then. I haven't been in any fights? You were physically <laughs> knocked out by him. <laughs> He's right there. And you in kind with Roswell. He deserved it. He did. Well, this is correct. What? And I deserve Sal's aggression? Get real. You did. Can we justify that? I'm still not entirely sure if I understand yeah, the explain? basis of the aggression. <laughs> is it literally is it really as as minor as reptiles don't have external testicles? Is that I'm worried that it's I'm worried it's as minor as like that's just a bad joke. Don't say that joke. <laughs> like, like Dean, shut up. That's petty. You crossed a boundary. We don't do sex jokes with them. And it's like, like, oh, okay. puns get punished. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Stop. Enough. I can't take it anymore. I'm sick of you being in each other's throats all the time. We're here now. So why is it so hard to get along for a month? All I want is for everyone to have a good time. Just one last happy memory we can have as a group, just in case it never happens again. 
I care for each one of you so much. You guys, you guys just. Dave literally doesn't know Sal before this trip. It doesn't seem like it much, no. He doesn't like they, really know Haas either. So how does he care like so it. much about them? Like they encounter each other at the at the uh gym and then it was like, Hey, you wanna come on a trip? And they might have a few encounters since then, but they, they didn't go to school together. Yeah. And it doesn't <laughs> feel like they knew each other that well, yeah. I'd raise my voice without realizing it, lowering it again, when I realized how tight I'd been gripping my fur. What made it worse was that one of one of them I'd been spending enough time around that my feelings had shifted, if only a little. For better or worse, I couldn't say, but it was there, and it hurt. Well, there's two characters here we spent a lot of time with, and one character we actively avoided this entire playthrough, <laughs> but he's, like, hunting us. I knew this. I was going to call this out when a second ago when I was like, if Tyson is the first person to apologize here for the fact that he literally hasn't even been fighting with people this entire time, it will immediately prove that he's not the problem. It is like the most emotionally mature person out of the group. Yeah. Uh, and like he, immediately he's like, sorry, I'll stay out of the way. It's like, oh, man, he has the least. <laughs> to mature, you... He has the least to apologize for. He literally, but he does anyway. He's like, all right, yeah. I'm the problem. I'm the, I'm going to take it on my responsibility to deal with this. Like, just Tyson is a genuinely all right character. I like him a lot. It's just like, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous how people are treating him. I'm so upset about it. So, uh, sorry, I guess. I'll stay out of the way. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do the same. Stick to the greenhouse, I guess. And I'll, I guess I'll be at the pool. Wait, did you just split up? <laughs> did you just split I don't up think after the plan was. I don't think they're going to split up now. I think they're talking about splitting up in the future, as in not being around each other to fight, which is literally not Dave's point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the whole but point also... was to just shut, like get along, not not interact even yeah. more like you already were doing that that's not a change you guys have all been splitting up every day until what and except for breakfast and dinner like you guys only interact <laughs> when it's time to eat and then you split up again like your route characters <laughs> i wonder if this is i assume that's this these people are here because of the three people that are in those fights, and they're always in those fights, and that's not route based. But the fact that we ha Sal is our route character, and those and those are the two kind of forced romance characters, makes this like feel like it's 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 like oh, Liara and Ashley are fighting moment. Yeah. No, you're missing the point. Just, ah. I was torn between wanting to keep them together so it was easier to keep track of them, but also wanting to to naturally just want to get along but then why did we come here together if we're just gonna all go to do different things surely there's something you can all do together well we could all <laughs> they looked at each other briefly <laughs> before turning back to me all wearing the same baffled expression really there's nothing my heart sank a little bit i tried to make eye contact with sal but his eyes were darting between Dean and Tyson, seemingly lost in thought, trying to calculate something. I looked between Dean and Tyson once and understood where Sal's mind was at, and honestly, mine was at the same place. We're just too different, aren't we? Sorry, I should have, uh, I should have realized. That's the reason why we're all moving on after this, huh? I laughed. Finishing it off by sighing and smiling to myself. But it wasn't a happy smile. Just a sad one. Always better to smile, as Dad always said. Even when things were really sad, try to smile, because some people aren't able to. This throws me off a little bit just because, uh... I think this... I think that this whole vacation was introduced as being like a... One last hurrah before we all maybe don't see each other again. After we graduate, like, we're graduating high school. So, at the beginning of the playthrough, I thought everyone was graduating high school. 
until we started getting evidence that contradicted that, like <laughs> one of them being seven years too old to have gra be graduating high school, uh, like massive age gaps across the group, potentially, that does not line up with that original idea. But what also yeah. muddies things up is that like, because yeah, like it is natural to be like, oh, we're about to graduate high school. We might never see each other again. Because that's exactly what happens. Like, so yeah. many people graduate high school and then see basically none of those people ever again because you just go off on your life. But half or more of this cast already graduated high school one to seven years ago. And also in the endings of this game, several of these people move in with each other over and over again. So I'm just not sure why they're so certain why he's now reinforcing the idea that they're all going to move off and split up and never see each other again after this, because not only do they often not split up from each other in the endings, but they also are not of an age where they were already bound to be universally splitting up. I think he has two classmates in this group that are split, that are graduating with him. I think it's like yeah. Orlando and Roswell and no one else. Yeah. So I'm just thrown off by that because most of the cast, I think, is not currently in high school. Let's see. I think I read that already. So, uh. Tyson, what sort of things do you like? What? Yeah. About to have something in common, right? Well, we all like this stupid hyena. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Well. I guess I like to tinker with my car. That's about it. That's it? No hobbies or uh, anything else? Stinky Gamer Wolf. Stinky Gamer Wolf. Ty, why don't you tell him about the other thing? You know. Uh. The... <laughs> 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 what other thing? Tyson shot me a slightly irritated look, but turned to Sal with a sigh. Outside of the gym... Games, I guess? We got him. <laughs> we got Dead him. to rights. Stinky gamer Dead to wolf. rights 30 seconds after he was introduced at the beginning of the game. Games. I like games. Swimming. And coloring, too. <laughs> coloring <laughs> Sal. <laughs> I wonder if Sal just doesn't know what food is because he's never <laughs> like had an adult friend and only hangs out with his super young sister and his <laughs> hobbies are like I like doing jigsaw puzzles I and like coloring with my sister doctor. <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> anyway what's a salad I've only ever eaten chicken nuggets <laughs> like it's, it's just like <laughs> it's just funny. It's just genuinely funny. Like if he just said he likes to draw, that's normal. Like I like to draw. <laughs> but coloring specifically implies that like these are the four things Sal does all day. He goes to the gym, he goes swimming, he plays video games, and he fills out coloring books over and over. <laughs> just dozens of coloring books. It's one of his top things he does with his free time. It's just this is so funny. Diff just, one of, just completion running coloring books. <laughs> just coloring. Like, not like a colorist, but... <laughs> <laughs> coloring. Uh, like, pictures? Is that bad? Oh shit. Oh fuck. This is like the lettuce conversation again. Why do I open up to people? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Just, I guess no one knew about that than me. No one else no knew one about else that than me. May as well take all of Dave's books. He doesn't use them anymore. His leftover, undone book. Hey, you tried coloring, coloring and books? most of the colors look the same. Is Dave colorblind? I guess so. Is that why the background's gray? <laughs> <laughs> but not all colors, right? Well, yeah, that's fair. I haven't tried coloring anything in years anyway. <laughs> For starters, that's adorable. But I can't say I, I was ever the arts and crafts sort. Dave, don't ask about wood. 
<laughs> I honestly, I was I was just about to before I realized where the conversation would have led. Uh, well, in that case, what other stuff are you into, Dean? You like games too? Don't play them often, but so long as I'm not expected to perform well, I'd, I'm happy to play. <laughs> Why'd you say it that way? Dean. Okay, okay. So, games. We, we can do games, right? Board games or video games? I can do either. I like the happy music and flashing lights, but... What are you, a kid? Well, you see, my sister nailed it. Fucking nailed yep. it. <laughs> I heard board games. I'd be down for some board games. Arrange a game night for everyone? Uh, we could, maybe. Seven people seems Dean's like a lot for one game, though, if you're a loser that doesn't know what Dixit is. Or Codename Pictures, or several part games. There's so many games that are meant for large player counts, how dare you? We'll figure it out later, but, uh, should somebody turn in? Should probably turn in before it gets too late. Yeah, good idea. I'm pretty beat. Aren't you going to a meeting? How are you going to get out of, the, of this for that now? It's going to be really suspicious when you leave and then Benson dies in the morning. <laughs> I'll hit the lights. Everyone comfortable? Oh, we were in bed this whole time? <laughs> were, were we arguing in bed? <laughs> It's really fucking cute. <laughs> like we're all like <laughs> laying in a one bed side by side shirtless and arguing about a relationship and everyone's like, well, I like coloring. See, <laughs> was that so hard? <laughs> it's like everyone's being huffy while shirtless. <laughs> it's just really disarming. <laughs> Dean switched off the lights as I checked my phone. I could still make the meeting with Oz. I just had to excuse myself and hope I was back before anyone noticed. How? And just be like, I'm gonna use the restroom. Before we do, do you mind if I could say goodnight with the others? Bored of us already. Do you need an escort? No, no, I'll be back. Promise. Don't start oh without me. <laughs> All right. S they're splitting careful. up, though. This I know. is what I'm saying. Yes, <laughs> immediately we're splitting up. <laughs> I will. <sighs> immediately splitting up. These fucks. <laughs> But I wasn't going to be right back. I had somewhere I wanted to be. Somewhere else. They're going to so get what... nervous when he's not immediately back and go look for him and get killed. Yeah. There's <laughs> also just an element of like, I, <laughs> just a certain element of like, I'm leaving. I better leave and go to the meeting before anyone notices. Hey, everybody, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like sneak off while they were sleeping or anything. He just announced his departure a second after saying he should do it like stealthily uh all right we'll see if this meeting happens or not next time